What is the most essential admixture in concrete? Well, a water reducer, of course. So why is that? Well, if I make concrete without water reducer, it probably will look like this. If I add a little bit of water reducer to it, I can make it look like this. And if I add a little bit more water reducer, I can make it flow like this. Pretty powerful, right? My name is Tyler Lay. I make these videos for you because I'm a concrete freak, baby. And I wanna reach my freaks out there as well. But water reducers and plasticizers, people ask me all the time, what's the difference? They're the same, it's the same terminology for the same thing. But well, why is all this important? Well, there are three amazing possible benefits that you can get from water reducers out there, but you can only choose one. Only choose one of them, okay? So benefit number one, you can make the material flow without adding any water or cement. This makes the concrete easier to consolidate. It makes it better to fill molds and it reduces the labor that we need in the field. Yeah, we can make it flow like water, like this, right? And this is called self-consolidating concrete, an amazing helpful tool that would not be possible without water reducers. You can also decrease the water with the same exact amount of cement. And what this does is this decreases your water to cement ratio, which is awesome, really, really cool. It does great stuff for your concrete. Like, it can increase your strength of your concrete and it can improve your durability or the chance for outside chemicals to get in. What am I talking about? Well, here's a graph where I've got water to cement ratio on the x-axis and I have strength on the y-axis. And I might start out with a mixture that looks like this with no water reducer in it, but with just a little bit of water reducer, I can get a mix that looks something like this. So I can improve the strength. That's pretty awesome for just a little bit of chemical. But if I want durability, this is again water to cement ratio on the x-axis. This is the permeability or how hard it is for outside chemicals to get inside the concrete. And again, I might start out with a concrete that's like this, but with just a little bit of water reducer, I can get it down like this, like double the lifespan or possibly more. Now you can also make things like ultra high performance concrete, crazy amazing tool that would not be possible without water reducer. And this is pretty awesome because this is the same concrete member. The one on the right is ultra high performance concrete and the one on the left is conventional concrete. And look how much thinner that member is on the right. It's because it's so much stronger because the water cement ratio is so much lower and it would not be possible without water reducer. You can also reduce the paste content in your concrete mixture. Well, paste is the water and the cementitious material in your concrete mixture, and the cementitious happens to be the most expensive and the least sustainable ingredient. Lower paste equals lower workability, so that scares a lot of different people, but if I have lower paste plus water reducer, I can get the same workability. Now, why is that powerful? Well, this saves you money, it can actually make you money as well. It can reduce cracking in your concrete and it will improve your sustainability. Now, water reducers are critical, essential roles for sustainable concrete, and they're gonna become even more critical in the future. But how do water reducers work? Like, what are they all about? Well, what they do is they attach to the outside of particles and they cause them to separate. So this breaks up pockets of water and helps the concrete flow. So here's a cartoon where I've got some actual grains of um, um, cement floating around in actual water. And in the center there, I've got some trapped water. See how those grains came together and that water is trapped? It doesn't help with flow. It's just kind of stuck there. It's still there for reaction. It just doesn't help with flow. So yeah, big deal. Water doesn't help with flow. If I add a little bit of water reducer to it, what happens is these molecules align themselves around the particles and what they do is they force the particles to spread or move apart. Yeah, like that. And now that internal water is freed, so it's not stuck anymore, so it's much, much easier for, for the grains to flow, which is pretty awesome. And also, the grains are much more uniformly distributed, so when they do react, it will be much more uniform as well. This is like a dryer sheet for your concrete. When you put it in, your clothes don't stick together, and the same thing is true for your concrete. Your grains don't stick together. So how do water reducers do this? Well, it's really about placing a slight negative charge on the outside 
of your actual particle. That's mechanism number one. And mechanism number two is the water reducers act like they, like springs, like little molecular springs that like force the grains apart from one another. And this, this springiness thing is called, the science word for it is called steric hindrance. Yeah, that is the science word for the day. Go science. But this forces the cement grains apart from one another and water reducers come in different strengths. And their different strengths really depends on the size and the shape of the molecule, all right? And so, for example, if I have something called a normal water reducer, that is an old school technology, they are larger molecules, but they do have a charge on them, okay? But a mid-range water reducer is the same type of thing but the molecule is a little bit smaller. That means I can get a higher density of them on the surface of my cement grain. And a high range water reducer looks like a comb. I can get a lot more density, a lot more springs, a lot more charge on the surface of my cement grain. But they come at a cost. These higher comb shaped performing molecules do cost more. And so you will have to pay more for them. So what are the challenges with water reducers out there? Well, number one, normal and mid-range water reducers, well, they extend the set time. They, they slow things down. That can be good sometimes, and oftentimes admixture companies include accelerators to offset this, but that's one negative. High-range water reducers, the comb-shaped molecules, often stabilize large air voids. That's like entrapped air, and you don't even know it sometimes. Sometimes your air content goes up. You don't have much admixture in your actual mixture um, um, as far as um, air and training admixture, but you get a lot of air and that's probably this going on for you. And a lot of times people in include defoamers in these admixtures to try to stabilize that. And water reducers are not free. They cost money, but you know what? I think they're worth it. I think they're an essential tool. I think the performance you get out of it is worth it. And there are interactions between water reducers and other admixtures that are really hard to predict. They're, 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 they're really challenging, and so trial batching is essential with them. But in summary, water reducers are essential tools. I mean, I love them. I think they're great. And if you're not making concrete with water reducers, you need to ask yourself why, okay? Because I think it is a huge chance to raise your game. If you care about sustainability, durability, higher strength, more flowable, lower cost, any one of these water reducers can be a tool to make them happen for you, but be careful because you don't get all of these at the same time, okay? And watch out for interactions between different admixtures. That's a big deal. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, I have launched a new website with my team, www.concretefreaks.com. Make sure you check it out and sign up for my newsletter on there. And of course, like, subscribe, leave me a comment, check me out on Facebook, on Instagram, on everything else, baby. And I'll tell you, I don't know about you, but I love concrete. Take care, everybody.